Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and today's video is all about my precious puppy Lola. She is almost a year old. She looks kind of like this. I'll put in some pictures of her in a little bit. But she is a multi-poo puppy, so she's half poodle, half Maltese. I think she takes after like her hair. It's not super curly like a poodle, but it's not super straight like a Maltese. She kind of has like a little dent in there. You can kind of see it. Um, but she has the long, she has really long legs, like the poodle. I'll, again, I'll put in the pictures. But um, yeah, she is half Maltese, half poodle. She is very smart. She's a really smart dog. Um, my dad actually came up with the name Lola. And she responded to it really well when I got Lola. I got her last... Um, last March. Well, no, she was born March, but I picked her up in the end of April, early May, because I was getting out of school and I'm like, I really, I seen this picture of a cute dog on Craigslist and I really wanted her and I ended up going, taking a train. This is when I was living in LA. I took a train from Burbank all the way down to Fullerton. I'm not really sure how far that is, but when I was on the train, I think it took me about, I don't know, maybe like 30 minutes or so, 25 minutes, and I walked from the train station to this lady's house, and there was like a big, like a playpen kind of thing, like a cage, and there was four dogs in there, and she was the one that everyone just kept jumping on, so I'm like, this is my dog. And I just ended up picking her. She has a really calm personality. Like this dog is super calm. She does not bark. She does not really, she loves everybody. We go to straight, we'll go to the store together. She will wanna play with everybody at the store. She thinks everyone's her friend. Sometimes it's a little bit dangerous though because anyone can just come pick her up and take her away. And she'd probably enjoy that. She weighs, last time we went to go weigh her, I think she weighed five pounds, but I'm guessing she probably weighs like seven now. She's a little bit heavier. When I first got her, she was probably like from her top of the head to like right here. She fit in my lunchbox. And what else can I say about this dog? She loves human food. Like if you're eating, she'll just stand there and stare at you. But I try not to, I keep her on like a, I tried a grain-free diet because everyone said that the grain-free diet was the best choice for this kind of dog. But she didn't, the food didn't really taste, look like it tastes good and it kind of smelled weird. And then when I moved here to Las Vegas, my roommate had a dog who was on like a Beneful like foods and she ended up liking that. So now she usually will eat that. She'll eat a little bit of um, like the little Caesars packets. She likes wet dog food. I try not to give her too much table food, but sometimes I feel bad because she just stands there. Um, she does not like to wear bows on her head. Random fact, I try put, clipping up her, her fur up here, her hair, but she does not like it. She, I before I got Lola, I had a chihuahua and my chihuahua would always like have to sleep right on me, like practically on me. Lola likes to sleep on the bed, but she likes to sleep kind of off to the side, like at the end of the bed. So she's pretty independent in that way, but she has to sleep on the bed. She does not sleep in a cage or a kennel or whatever you call it. Um, I don't know, I just don't like the idea of her sleeping by herself. I never thought that I would be the biggest dog mom that I am today. I honestly feel, s I get so worried about her if I have to think that I'm going on vacation and she can't come with me. The only time I ever left her was for a week this past summer when I went to Florida. And I left her with my grandma and even then I was still nervous for my dog. I mean, I trust my grandma, but my dog, she's like my life. It's like my job to take care of her. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. She lives here with me in Las Vegas. She goes to the groomers. Maybe like every two months. Right now, she, I just trim her hair. 
She, what else does she like? She loves hair ties. She loves to play with the hair ties. Um, I'll take it out of my hair and she'll run and she'll grab it from my hand and just take it somewhere. I swear, I, have to, I go through so many hair ties. She loves to chew up, um, I'm not like a stress ball. It has so much foam in it. She'll rip those apart. I don't buy any toys like that anymore. I don't buy any toys with stuffing anymore because she just tears it apart. Um, but if you tell her Lola dance and like you look really happy, she'll start spinning in a circle like on her, on her hind legs and she can walk on her hind legs really well. I think it's because she's so tall. Say hi Lola. My dad was training her on how to bark because this dog will not bark at anybody. Although she does not like people with long black beards. Why, I don't know, but she'll start growling at them, which is really rare for her. She doesn't like beards, she doesn't like dark, um, like a lot of men, dark facial hair. And that's it, that's just a little introduction to Lola, my puppy, my cutie puppy. Hi huh, puppies. A quick look at her. You could kind of see that we have a little bit of tear stains, but I'm working on getting rid of those. And this is how tall she is. I'll put in some video footage of her. But she loves to sleep on my lap. We go. To, I take her to Walmart. I take her to Target. She's a real crowd pleaser. She's a showstopper. If I'm at any store, I can guarantee you a lot of people will stop me and ask me questions about my dog. They'll probably ask me what kind of dog she is. How old is she? Is she full size? And my answer to people who ask me if she's full size, I say I don't know because she's not over one yet. Next month she'll be one and I think I'll be able to say that she's full size. She's full grown. She's really quiet. Lola, hi pups. She's funny sometimes. She loves to run around and when I take her outside walking, she'll she's really good she doesn't need a leash um i live like in a cul-de-sac so if i say lola wait for me she'll go to the end of the where the street starts and she'll just wait there until i come um she gets sometimes a little bit scared of my driving i don't know why she usually starts crying it's a little bit weird and she's usually out of bed by maybe 10 in the morning like she'll wake up fully wake up and then she'll go to bed at 9 at night, almost like clockwork. But sometimes I get worried that she's lonely. My roommate's dog just moved out, so I get a little bit nervous that she's going to be by herself. But she seems to be doing okay. She's eating. She's playing. We just have each other. She's probably mad at me because I keep lifting her up. And that's it. Um, stay tuned for more videos of my multi-poo, Lola. Um, if you guys want to know more. Just leave me some comments in the sec in the comment section below, and um, I'll answer them. Braising a multi poo is sometimes it was always easy. Actually, it wasn't hard at all. She's really smart. But um, yeah, thanks so much for watching me and Lola. Thank you for tuning into our video. I will try to post more with this dog because she is super cute and she is super tiny. Thank you.